What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with some more Encored Stars as you can see here. So I hope everybody is good. If you missed my other videos on the Visionary Pass and the Encored Stars 1, you can check those out. Basically these are re-releases. For anyone that has been playing the game for a while, you probably have a lot of these players, right? You will see a couple of the players here. You can re-roll them. So if you already have opened a couple of these and you have these players, you can get them again within this pack. Um, so if you open a player and you clear the agent, you can't get the player, but if you already have the player, you can get them. I hope that doesn't confuse you. So again, with this selection, lads, you are really only going to be looking at the top few. Now, I did the pack uh, review on this one as well. I've played with pretty much everyone on this one here, but this pack, this part two, these players are from 2023, but they are from... Uh, the national teams player of the week, which is around March, April time, as far as I know, and there are different re-releases, right? So let's get cracking, right? The pick of them are probably Ronaldo, Sabazlai, Rice, uh, Kessie, and Douglas Louise with Saka, right? I think this is an extremely good pack because you've probably got maybe 10 players in here that are actually worthwhile. So Bitzer is actually brilliant. McTominay is quite solid as well for a defensive type of player. Um, if you want to play him central, I know he doesn't look like he plays central, but he does there, and he's got everything that you could possibly want, including super sub, which is quite rare for a CMF or a DMF. Um, you also have Sabitzer, who can play pretty much any position that you want. Absolute beast of a player as well. 83 acceleration, good everything, right? And as a whole player, he kind of is like Gundo. He plays that kind of role. Form inconsistent is a bit of an issue, right? Even the players back here, lads, I would say Mandanda, obviously, and Ward, not great players unless you have your heart set on getting these and re-rolling for them again. Um, but obviously not, you know, anywhere near kind of viable for endgame stuff. This guy is not bad. He's got good pace, good defense, and Kubo as a center forward. Goal poacher is quite decent as well. I actually was banging serious goals in with Kubo before. He does have standard form, but he's double touch. He's got one touch pass, and he has got true passing as well, right? So he does have a lot of nice assets to his card. Um, McTominay, Sabitzer, Kostic, if you're looking for a cross specialist, is fantastic with the kicking power, the lofted pass. He has also got early crosser, long ranger, long ball expert, and of course, a wealth of player skills with the standard form there. He has got knuckle shot, long range shooting, pinpoint crossing, and low lofted pass. So the best passing skills that you could possibly want for your out wide player. Lukaku, hit and miss. Quite slow, a bit bulky, a bit heavy. Not as good as Adriano, but if you're looking for somebody to kind of finish off and bring on, he's not the worst player that you could have. His inconsistent form does kill it though, but he does have one touch pass. So I would say all in all, right, Gunnarsson is not bad either. Apart from his defensive awareness, has got excellent defensive capabilities. Even though he's quite small, he is quite mobile as well, and he does have standard form. He's got lovely player skills, right? So I would say from these back are not bad. If you spin one of those, um, Almo is kind of a player, if you're playing him as a, as a winger, he's not really great, even though he's got 86 acceleration, but where he actually excels is when he's playing AMF, that's his main role, and he's actually quite decent in that role, super sub as well, pinpoint crossing, uh, standard form, double touch, he's got also one touch pass and true passing, very very nice card to have as a prolific winger, and then you're on to kind of these top 10, right, so just to kind of carve a spot open for these, I've spent a lot of time on Isaac, this card is actually quite average compared to the one you could get for free and that you can still get for free with your five-star nominating contract. And I would also say that this guy Carrasco is a left back, while quite unique, is not defensive enough. If you're playing him as a 3-5-2 and playing him like how I play Grimaldo with getting crosses in, he's quite decent because he actually has unwavering form, one-touch pass, and he has gamesmanship and pinpoint crossing, which is quite nice as well as having the acceleration and the dribbling and the passing and all that as well. Uh, Konate and Schlotterbeck are kind of similar. Um, obviously, Konate is down as e a centre-back that's a build-up player. I'm going through these very quick, lads, but to be honest with you, unless you're a new, new, newcomer, you've probably seen me review a lot of these players and talk through these players before. The things you're looking for in this is if you need a player to improve your squad or you improve your starting eleven. If it's a player that's improving your starting eleven, you're probably looking for only the five of these. Saka, Rice, Kessie, Ronaldo, and I would probably put in uh, Sabazalai in there as well. I think that's how you pronounce his name, lads. Is it Sabazalai? I think that's it. This guy is pretty decent, lads. He's kind of like Gakpo, if you've played with the Gakpo card before that they released, or even standard Gakpo. One thing that lets him down is his balance, because he's quite tall, and the fact that he, even though he does have double touch and one touch pass, 
he doesn't really have that kind of low center of gravity with the balance. Plus, you can't put anything on this card. You can't trade him up. You can't reset his stats. This is, is, is It is what you get. And this is probably a 90 rated card overall. But what boosts this up is the kick and power and set piece, set piece taken, which adds to the card, but doesn't really add anything to the card, if you know what I mean. So don't always fall for the overalls, right? Um, I will also give a little shout out to Saka, right? Saka is actually one of those hidden gem left backs where a lot of people don't play him left back, but he is so good defensively because he's got track back and he also has one touch pass, scissors faint and soul control. You can put double touch on him, you can put interception on him, but he does have unwavering form. And of course, you could also play a sub tactic with him. Start him left back as part of a 5-3-2 and then move him up as part of like a 4-4-4-3-3 as a winger, right? So there's always that option as well. Um... Declan Rice, Kessie, and Ronaldo. This Ronaldo, I've heard a lot of people talk about him now, right? There is a new Ronaldo coming. This is an upcoming national team selection worldwide one that's going to be coming. We also have a couple of different editions of Ronaldo. So if you take a look at what I consider one of the best versions that they released, um, this Ronaldo actually tracks quite well to him, except that he's fully maxed out, obviously, um, with 92 offensive awareness. So you can kind of train this guy up, and I'll just show you here, 92 offensive awareness and also 87 finishing. You can get this guy up pretty decently and still have some better stats here if you wanted to get like a kind of a prime uh, Cristiano Ronaldo obviously you're not going to have blister and pace but that's not a bad card to have if you are looking and you have something like that um, if you are looking for a Cristiano Ronaldo card and you have him you want to give him the contract again um, but this guy with a full year's contract is quite a beast as a goal poacher he's not a you know he's, he's probably the pick of the pack I definitely think he's the best player in the pack and then we also have Kessie to round it off fantastic any player that has aggression over 95 which Kessie will have because of the form arrow and he's got unwavering form if you get the form arrow you're going to get plus two um to all of these stats obviously aggression isn't going to get the boost but if you have 93 94 95 anywhere around that kind of sweet spot from 90 plus with aggression is going to be insane right you add to that that he's got super sub which you could bring him on it's very rare to have a cmf especially a box to box or a defensive type cmf that has super sub if you have five players with super sub on the bench and you're able to bring them on, whether it's Kessie and um, McTominay from this pack and you're able to bring them on or Griezmann or somebody like that and be able to actually turn the game, Leao or whoever, um, Haaland, you know, you've got a lot of super subs, you definitely can go for that route. Like, as I said, there's a lot of players that are similar um, that they have kept releasing. Last but not least, we have Declan Rice and Douglas Louise. This Douglas Louise card is a fantastic addition to your squad if you're looking um, just to have somebody kind of a little bit different. And then Declan Rice can play center back, can play DMF. Not the best card. I will say this is probably one of the weaker cards of him that you can actually train up. Like if we go over here and we take a look at um, the Declan Rice card that I would really recommend, which would have been the free one that you had here. For any newcomers that missed out on that, this is a fantastic card because you're able to get his defensive capabilities up really, really high. And also you're able to get that up to 75. And the aerial strength, you're able to get up to like 78 jump but 88 physical contact. And then, of course, you have a couple for the acceleration as well. This card is lacking slightly because of that, especially the fact that he does not have heading and he does not have blocker, which you don't have on any of the Declan Rice cards, but you're not able to add it to this card. So for me, end game or, you know, Really good starting 11 players. You're talking about Ronaldo, you're talking about Kessie, you're talking about Declan Rice and Saka, depending on your play style and your formation. And I would also say Schlotterbeck as well. And then the rest of the players, I would probably say the rest of these top eight guys um, could slot in to improve your squad if you're Division 3, Division 2 player. Good squad players. And when they bring the player form back, that's going to make a big difference. So that's it for me, Les. Just a quick, short and sweet video. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.